Well, hello there, Twin Flame community. We have a connection here that happens in silent recognition because of the lives both parties already have established. And one in particular understands that love, regardless of connection, isn't enough. Let's dig in to see where this goes. Hello, everyone. Welcome into this week's Twin Flame Tarot Reading. It's a little late, but still we're making it happen. Let's get into it to see what sort of themes we have for the past, present, and future for the connection that wants to come through today. If you're interested in the extended to this video, there's links to those as well as personal readings in the description box below. Past energy. Hmm. Play your hand. Someone was playing their cards close to their chest in the past, huh? That reduces all the way down to a three. That's the kickoff of collaboration. Present. Whoo. I think she came out twice last week. Her Wicked Ways. One of my least favorite cards in this deck. Reduces down to a one. Beating the Snow Queen and her Wicked Ways. A lot of times when this comes up in reading, this is a person. So we're going to see how that applies. This is about someone wanting one or both parties to dim their light. Okay. Um, to be this, this is something that is a significant obstacle. Future energy. Okay. There's a chance velvet queen. I'm going to read the card for her because the velvet queen is about receiving a gift. Number 25 reduces to a seven. For Velvet Queen, it says, a rare prize is to be bestowed upon you. The universe is confirming that the most luscious dreams of your heart are being nurtured into, manifest into manifestation. To this end, you shall be given a saving grace, an intervention if needs be. To be open to receive, surrender doubt in favor for unconditional trust. Through your trust and optimism, you make it easier for the universe to give you a most deserved gift. So here we have two people possibly a third okay upon meeting not making it known of knowledge of connection okay playing your cards close to your chest right even though this is energy that encourages you to speak up for once kind of thing okay and then a bigger obstacle comes in before a chance at quite the prize hmm okay I'm going to use this deck for her, this deck for him, as per usual. I'm going to deal out all the cards and then we're going to read it together like a map. In case you want to fast forward through this part, I understand. <laughs> it's not the most interesting part. Show me his past energy, please, with the player hand theme. Mm-hmm. Five of Swords, Queen of Swords. Ace of Pentacles, show me his current energy. With her wicked ways. Two of Swords, Emperor, Card of Berries. Oh, both those, okay. Page of Swords, Eight of Coins, and the future energy for him, please. Two of Cups, Judgment, Devil, ooh, Capricorn Energy, okay, okay, all right, let's see what she's got, okay, his is pretty cut and dry, but um, nevertheless intense, <laughs> seems to be handling it decently well though. Let's get into her. Show me her past energy with player hand, please. Mm hmm. Strength card of Leo. Four of Pentacles. Nice. Empress card of Taurus and Libra. Okay. 
show me the current energy of her wicked ways for her, please? Three of Wands. Eight of Swords. Ten of Cups. Mm hmm. Sure. And her future energy with the Velvet Queen. Eight of Wands. Nine of Wands. Knight of Pentacles. Okay. Gather around, kids. <laughs> This is a situation upon first meeting, recognition of the other, and both did, both recognized the other. Um, two things happened because of two different experiences here. One is, oh shit, I made the real offer to the wrong person. He's already married or committed. Her, ah crap, I did all this work on myself to evolve this far past third party those kinds of traumas i can't engage with him at all because of the level of the level that i've made it to okay funny thing is is with empress i'm not getting married at all him 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 committed to somebody her i'm not getting committed to anybody can you show me the commitment that he did make because I have a feeling that commitment is this person. Show me that ace of coins, that commitment that he already made. Oh. Scorpio energy. There's, okay. I, I mean... Sure, it had the potential of being toxic, but this is actually a little scary. Um, whoever he's with, okay, um, it's almost like enough uh, problems in the connection have come up where it's almost like he thinks this might be over in the next two years. So I don't know how long they've been married. Okay. Um, the partner is not having it, um, trying to throw up boundaries around the relationship to cage him in. Okay. To cage him in. Um, because this person does not want this marriage, if it's a marriage, to be taken away from them. What's their deal? They've been together for a while. The lifestyle suits them. They were happy. They were happy. Mm -hmm. um, the, the, the fire definitely died down between them. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo energy again. Okay. Okay, so clear recognition of her. Shit, I made the offer to the big offer to the wrong person. Who knows how long they've already been committed to who they're committed to. And now it's on their mind that this is probably going to be over in the next couple of years. So show me her sticking to her guns for Pentacles strength, please. Devil. Yep. She has already incurred a cycle in a similar fashion. Yeah, she's telling him, nah, I'm good. <laughs> Capricorn energy with the devil. The two pages talking. Okay. Um, I mean, yeah, partnership would be great. We'd probably be really great together and stuff. But um, you're, you're still in a pending ten of swords is how it's coming out. A pending ten of swords. What does she opt for if not this? She's following personal truth and starting new collaboration somewhere else. It's given career vibes, to be honest. Someone's going back to school. Okay. Okay. 
current energy. Okay. Him getting blocked on every avenue of trying to exit. And I'm not saying she's literally setting up obstacles. She's getting in his head. Okay. She's getting in his head. Um, and if she is an actual Scorpio, that means she knows how to. Because y'all capacity for water runs really deep emotions and the manipulation of you know not that everybody does it but i've noticed it comes natural to them <laughs> if they do choose to do it there's he can't get past the obstructed visual of what he will lose monetarily of what it is that he's built so far assets money career kind of thing if he, if he gets out of this situation does anything wake up his brain to the truth could be one of his single friends leo pisces energy with the nine of coins show me what they know <laughs> okay uh magician three of wands knight of wands eight of wands this is that friend that um got it is a is a little bit on the reckless side but and not like reckless side in general but more than him more than any average person because there's still this person still is still bold. They haven't allowed life to dim their ambition, their creativity or motivation. And so now that's starting to echo back in his direction. They're having conversations about this. Hmm. About the truth of what is actually possible. This is literally the friend like, dude, you know you can you know you can close this, right? Taurus energy there with the higher friends. Like, you know, you know you can you can leave. It's a good friend to at least tell him what's up. Okay. So on this side of things, okay, she's not seeing any change and not and and is determining that ten of cups is not possible here. Okay. So, what did her three of pentacles turn into in the present? Was it worth it? Yep. It almost feels like someone who went out to be an entrepreneur for the first time and over time went through gains and losses. Um, but they figured out a system that works. Sag, Taurus, energy. Okay. Um, it's something that's very healing for her. Scorpio, Gemini, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. Okay. There was something that taking this risk did in her healing process, did for her in her healing process. Like if she's never taken a risk like that before, it could have healed something in her. But it's like at the more she figures this out, the more she knows she wants, she wants love in her life. That's fair. Show me more about the Hierophant. Yeah, she figures it out. It's like, because she knows, she knows that this is not an open path because third party. And if she made it to Empress level on her own, then she's already overcome things like third party. Okay. Future energy. Two of Cups. Judgment. Devil. Hmm. It's interesting. I never use, I never, really, never usually hear the word doom in a reading. <laughs> Seems a little dramatic. Um, there's him in the future here understanding that 
it's not that there is a window of expiration here, but understanding later the level of gift this was, the level of gift, it, gift this was brings in the same level of fear that it happened and was not acted upon. Okay. Show me the judgment call with him, please. He's a jailbird. He's busting free. Taurus energy there with the king of pentacles, ten of pentacles, nine of swords, eight of swords. Busting free. Okay. Show me the devil. Tower. Hierophant. Yep. Told you. Lovers. Four coins. Um, Gemini. Scorpio. Taurus energy. It was right there on the tip of my tongue. Moving towards a lover. Blasting the Hierophant to hell. <laughs> Okay, so here she has, okay, incoming communication that she immediately, it's not something that she allows, just because someone has arrived doesn't mean that they're allowed inside her home, right? Just because someone knocked on her door doesn't mean you get to come in, right? There's, there's a bit of a um, you shall not pass sort of vibe when she answers. Um, but something about slow progression may be allowed. Show me what she does with this Knight of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. Two of Wands. Two, right, okay. So she's gotten to a point in life where she either doesn't want to pair off anymore or she's just let go of the idea of it being a main focal point in life. Yeah, she has. Nine of Pentacles, Justice, Eight of Cups, uh, Libra Energy. Um, she's gotten to a point in life where she's put Ten of Pentacles, long-term stability, often with another person, but it can be very singular. Okay. Um, there is, mm -hmm. she got to the point where there was so much time between here and here, actually between here and here, that she continued to be a self-sufficient sovereign human and just started to just detach from everything, which is a great idea, which is a great idea. Um, it's t It can be a tough practice, but once you get to know, because it's like the moment that he shows up, she's like, I don't know if I want to do that whole thing that like you just did with someone else. I, I, cause I've, I've been, I've been good. I've been good. Does he say anything that piques her interest? Yes. Son is the yes card. <laughs> How about we start as friends? And it turns out there's a little bit of fire behind that friendship. How about we start as friends? Leo energy. Okay. Okay. I am going to go over to the extended and get the final cut of this whole thing. <laughs> the director's cut. I'm going to see what's going on. We'll go in with her because we already know. We, we, saw, we saw the dumpster fire for him. We don't need to know any more about... The Snow Queen. Okay. Um, I'll see what's going on with this Empress in her current energy near future. And we'll get really into the final outcome of the connection between these two. So if you're interested in any of that information, along with messages from Spirit about these connections at this point in time, messages between you, as well as timing, feel free to follow me by clicking the link in the description box below. And I'll see you guys over there. Bye.